of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary are critical for the Royal Navy to operate worldwide but despite its excellent capabilities, the service is in slow decline. Here we look at the current status of the fleet. The integrated review is committed to a vision of global Britain, able to deploy and sustain naval forces over long distances. The RFA has always been seen as a key enabler that gives the RN a reach many other navies lack. Despite the further reduction in the RFA size, it still just holds on to its crown as the premier naval auxiliary service in Europe although this is not a great yardstick for comparison. In 2003 the RFA numbered 20 vessels but in the two decades since, has more than halved in size, down to 9 active ships in 2023 and only 5 of them are capable of replenishment at sea. RFA Wave Knight joined her sister in long-term layup in March as a cost and manpower saving measure. At least these relatively modern ships have not been scrapped or sold, but even if the RN had adequate tanker capacity, these vessels have considerable utility besides replenishing warships. RFA Wave Knight was sent to the Caribbean, primarily on a humanitarian mission, 2023, and served in the Gulf supporting RN and coalition warships, 2019-23. The four modern Tide-class tankers now form the core of the RFA fleet. RFA Tide Spring spent 136 days at sea during the CSG-21 deployment and was a fundamental part of the logistic chain, providing 58 million litres of diesel and 14 million litres of aviation fuel. She was the first vessel of the group to return home but was replaced by RFA Tide Surge at the tail end of the deployment. Tide Spring underwent an extended inaugural refit between February 2018 and January 2022. She returned to Merseyside in January this year for another refit that is still ongoing. RFA Tidrace has operated in the High North in support of HMS Prince of Wales, but otherwise, 2023 has been unremarkable for the class so far, with the three active ships spending most of their time off the south coast conducting training. The UK Carrier Strike Group, centred on HMS Queen Elizabeth, is officially at high readiness to deploy if called upon and one of the tides is earmarked as part of the CSG. One will likely accompany HMS Prince of Wales on the Westland 22 deployment to the US East Coast in the autumn.